Deirdre, AKA Raindrops. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning drop, what to do, girl? Sitting here looking like an off-brand monopolist. But um, y'all will see why. You'll see it in the thumbnail. Um, just setting the two little tendrils that um, I put here. I took the Senegalese twist out uh, yesterday. Uh, I had it in for about two weeks. And then I just opted for some mini buns. Um, I just took the braiding hair, braided it in a big braid, and then pinned it to my hair. My hair is still in a CWA, still in a short stage, but it has grown a lot. Like I said, enough for me to braid my hair, cornrow my hair, put it in, you know, two little buns, and going about my day until I get back to where I want to be. So this is a get ready with me. Um, really quick, I'm going to my brother's girlfriend's. It's his son. It's her son's birthday today. And we're taking the kids um, to Mission Laser. I think it's called. Basically, it's laser tag. Y'all know I drink my tea all day, every day. This is Vanilla Caramel by Bigelow. Um, I love to drink flavored um, herbal teas. It's normally the same thing. It's gonna be vanilla chai or vanilla caramel. Um, I'm not really gonna talk through, but y'all, I have to tell y'all, and I'll do an update um, on it about my weight loss. I have not been to the gym. If you're new here, back in January of this year, um, late January, I started at Planet Fitness. I went hard for like a couple of months and then my body, because I have a lot of conditions, started to bother me, and then I let up on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead while I talk. Um, this is the Huda, Huda Beauty. Um, this is in the shade, this is the Easy Bake Powder. This is in the shade Conifa. And normally I set my face with the Neutrogena, but I don't have any in there. It's like, it's very little. I'm gonna prime my face with the matte concealer. I mean, um, primer, because I have an oily T-zone, and then I like to set that. But um, yeah, I've lost weight. Um, I don't get on the scales, so I have to go um, get on the scales to see. Um, but we started out around 170 something, stupid neck. Um, and I have been dropping down and I made it to 165 and then I went back up, but I stopped going to the gym. The last time I went, I didn't, I think I went twice in March and then once in April and I have not been since. Um, I just been dieting with the tea. Like I said, I'll update you guys and let you know, but just know your girl came down a lot. I don't even have the double chin thing anymore. But I'm gonna go ahead and set this. And I think I'll just try to edit just to tell you guys what I'm using. But I'm gonna set my face with the Huda Beauty powder, like I said. And this just helps with um, absorbing extra oil. Uh, the Neutrogena Shine Control has rice powder in it. That's why I was using it. Rice is supposed to help absorb oil. Okay, so the face is set. And again, because um, my husband has the TV going loud and all of that, and I know the boys are about to get up and make noise, um, I'm not gonna talk through. But this is basically it, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of the makeup. So the pencil was Nika K. Um, pencil from out of the beauty supply store. That's one of my favorite brands ever um, in the beauty supply store. And it was the shade Coffee. Let me make sure. 
Yep, Shade Coffee. I am going to conceal and clean up my brows with the shade Fawn. I have very little left. I like to put this on first because I want it to dry down a bit. combo y'all um this is the IRL filter by um makeup revolution and when I did the review on here I think it was either earlier this year sometime last year I can't remember um it was a tad bit lighter um this is the shade f13.5 and I think I needed 13 or the one after 13.5 and I never went and got it but I love the way that the coverage is on here and mixing it with the Ulta Beauty. I For sure, this was a year ago. I know this was about a year, year and a half ago when I did this review. This is the Ulta Beauty Velvety Matte Full Coverage Foundation. This shade is dark neutral. So what I do is just mix these two together and then go ahead and apply. So this is uh, the shade by itself. And it looks like my shade, but it's just a tad lighter, like I said. So I'm gonna mix it in the, as you can see, it's a bit darker. So I just put that on top. You can see the difference there. And then I'm just gonna mix it together and get my perfect shade. And yes, my face is a little bit darker. I did get a tan last Sunday going to Water Country here in Virginia. Water Country USA is a large water park that was around when I was a kid, a teenager. Um, but it was a big park then and it's even bigger now. So we wanted to take the boys, um, my little, cancer sign um he does love the water so he is a water sign so we got out in that sun and we all got a bit of a tan contour. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. What I had left on the back of my hand when I applied this, I'm just gonna apply it on my nose and right up under my nose. This also is going to help clean up any contour that you did not want. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna set with the Huda Beauty and Spoonerful. And as you can see, there's not there's probably anything on Let's here. Go. I don't bake, I just set. Freedom. And I use the smallest amount possible because I don't want that bright under eye. Freedom. I just want to set my powder. I'm going to go in. This is the Big Nine Banana Powder. And banana What? Banana powder. But it's banana and topaz mixed together. I even like to take a little bit and go on the outside. Because it's a darker, no tone yellow. Next, I'm going to go in under my eyes with the Fenty Beauty palette, Matchbooks, and I think it's number three. I mean, number five. Yeah, I'm going to use this peach shade here right up under my eye to soften it. And then I'm gonna finish blending out here on my nose. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. And I'm gonna go in with the Fruit Pie Filling. This is a palette I got from Amazon a few years ago. I like all of the bright colors, but I'm gonna go in with the one that has hit pan already. And it is the shade, what is this? Filbert. Going all the way on the lid and above uh, my eyelid and my crease, and I'm just gonna blend that all the way out.
And then I'm gonna go in right in the corner with cocoa chips. I mean, choco chips. It's a reddish brown uh, shade. And I'm just gonna carry it right on the, the um, outer corner of my eyelid and carry it into the crease a bit. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. I'm going back in with my angle sponge and I dip it a little bit and bring it up to cut that off. And I'm just gonna take my fluffy foundation brush. I just use this to blend anything out, any powder. And what I'm gonna do now is take my shadow fluffy brush, dip it into that Ben Nye banana powder. That is what I use to set under my brows. And then I'm just gonna blend that out and within the crease. I'm going to soften that line. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. I'm going to use the Maybelline um, Eye Studio Gel in black. And I'm going as close to the eyelid as possible to my last line. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this line is just a little bit thicker and I don't want it that thick. So I'm just gonna take the concealer and mute it out. And so you don't see the concealer, you can just pat it out with your finger or use a Q-tip. I have both, um, but now we're all even. And then I'm gonna go on my waterline as well. For my lashes, I'm going in with the Kiss. This is the Kiss Natural Lashes. Um, I just been um, I've been wanting to wear lashes again, but I didn't want to wear the longer lashes, so you know, got me some natural. Okay, guys, so the lashes are on. And now I'm going into the Fenty Beauty Matchbook number three. And I'm gonna do the orange shade there for my blush. like I'm going a bit heavy in with it um I'm not I'm just going I'm because I'm going to blend it out anyway and I just want the color pay off there and you'll see after I blend it it's going to look softer and I'm going in one more time at the top with the peach Now I'm gonna take that fluffy blush brush and I'm gonna blend 
tap it out. So you'll see the difference on this side when I do it. It looks absolutely softer. Bless you. So now that everything is blended, I'm gonna go ahead now and do my lips. And I got, I had like a few of these, but the packaging was different. And I've already used one. These are by um, Ruby Kisses. They're their uh, butter balm glosses. Uh, I had these in different shades um, last year and I ran out and I see that they have new packaging um, a little bit and new colors. So the pink one is Playboy. The darker shade here is Savage. Um... What was this one? Don't walk in my video. Cinnabons. Cinnabons is this one. And then, y'all, the writing is in black. What was the red one? That's the one that I'm going with, but I'm gonna line my lips first with cocoa. What was this one? Cold blooded. So that's the shade that I'm going with today. And again, this is my favorite lip pencil from Nika K. And it's the shade Coco. And it has enough gloss that you don't have to put on like a clear lip gloss over top unless you really want that juicy wet shine. Um, that's not what I want today. But these feel exactly like butter. Okay, so I'm gonna go get dressed and come back with the little outfit of the day. Um, it's just sneakers, jean shorts, and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. And I like it. I like it a whole lot. Y'all know I'm a neutral girl, so you'll get a lot of neutral looks here on this channel. But yeah, this is it. And let me just show you guys. I got my fan going because I was hot as hell. So these shorts are from Rainbow. The shirt also is from Rainbow. And my gold and white Jordans. Um, I wanna say my husband got them from Foot Locker for Christmas last year. And then my yellow purse, which I like to crossbody wear, is from Shein. So yeah, this is the outfit of the day. And I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. Oh, this had a lot more curl in it, but it was like, it was weird. It was like sitting up here. So I literally had to take my flat irons and kind of flatten it down a little bit. Um, so it wouldn't just be sitting here with the curl in my face. So basically, yeah, that is the look for today. Thank you for getting ready with me. If you are new here, you like my vibe, this type of content, go ahead, 
hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload. Um, leave a like, it helps to get my video pushed into the algorithm so more people can see it. Leave a comment. I love suggestions and chit chatting with you guys back and forth. And definitely share the video because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in my next one.